That concludes our little introduction to LaTeX. I hope it will help you to avoid many of the most common beginner's mistakes that you can make with LaTeX and uh, therefore give your publications or dissertations a much more polished look. Um, here you can see a couple of basic exercises. In particular, I recommend you to have a quick look at exercise number three. Imagine you are interviewing for a position as a editor in a technical journal and you're being tested for your ability to spot typographic mistakes that we've talked about. And you should now be able to look at these three lines and spot in there within a minute or two a uh, in total 14 mistakes that I've added here. So I would suggest you pause the video and try to do this exercise and then I will quickly run through the solution. Okay, so this is the original and this is the corrected and you should have noticed for example that uh, minus seven, this isn't actually a minus, this was a hyphen. Um, here we have, as it should be, a unit of measurement separated from the number with a space in an upright font. But the author here has switched into math mode uh, because they wanted to access the plus minus sign and they typeset the rest in math mode as well, as a result of which the space between the unit and the number has disappeared because math mode drops all space and also the unit has been typeset in math italic font. It now looks more like two times D times B. Um, <clears throat> so we fix this by uh, ending math mode here and then writing tilde db outside of math mode, for example, or by using math rm. Um, <clears throat> here you can see the abbreviation pp for pages, often used to denote a page range, but the full stop here is actually misinterpreted by LaTeX as an end of sentence space. That's why we have this large space here. So we can put a, a tilde or a backslash a space in here, like I've done here, in order to make this a normal space. Also, 729 should really have been an n dash, not a hyphen. Um, here we have some uh, variables. F and T are function and scalar variables and should have been typeset in. Uh, italics. So um, this was done here outside math mode. We move these into math mode. On the other hand, sine is a constant function and therefore should have been type slash, typeset as backslash sine. The author has forgotten the backslash here. Um, also, there's a space missing here. Uh, there's a space too much here. Spaces should always come after the comma or full stop punctuation, not before. The variable t here should have been in italics because it's a variable like here. And again, uh, the, there's a, a space missing. The spaces are not evenly on both sides of the equal sign. Uh, kilohertz is abbreviated incorrectly. There is a uh, precise definition of how international system of unit uh, symbols should be um, capitalized and abbreviated and kilo is a lowercase k and hertz is an uppercase h and a lowercase set. The rule if you're interested in is basically mega and everything above is an uppercase and uh, everything below kilo and other prefixes below a mega are lowercase. And if the uh, unit symbol is an abbreviation of the name of a person, like Heinrich Hatz in this case, then the first letter of the unit symbol is in uppercase. And here the word sampling frequency starts with a quotation mark, but 
there are two closing quotation marks, one here and here, and we have to turn around this one. So the use of the same type of quotation mark on both sides, we fix and we use these double graph accents in order to get the proper opening quotation mark.